All right, Tom, what I'm working with is this uh, steel pulley here. It uh, looks like what they do is, uh, I'd like to say it's all one unit, but it must be electrically welded. No, it looks like it's all rolled into one deal. I'm not sure. The, uh, and the reason I say that is because this inside piece is so flat, I don't know how you'd ever put that in a press and get it completely squared off on corners. Uh, but at any rate, it's 120 millimeters from the inside, on the, the inside diameter of the pulley. And then the offset on the, uh, this piece is about 8 or 9 millimeters from here to here. And the idea was is just to take the pulley that you have on there on the crankshaft side and uh, cut this out to fit up on it. And uh, we could put it on so it, the offset's towards the crank. Which are towards the block, which sounds like a problem, or we can use the offset part and go back. And I believe that uh, the uh, this will fit over the drum if we had to slide it over for a clearance issue. But uh, this t potentially could be able to slide all the way up to the block, and uh, it sh shouldn't be any wider than uh, that pulley you have in your. Uh, in your video and let me get a quick shot or a quick measurement of it so it's only a 80 19 millimeters thick on the uh, let me stand it up I don't have enough hands so it's about 19 inches thick there and then with the offset I believe that was another nine inches or so if I can get the measurement, maybe I can't. Anyhow, it looks like it's about 25 inches or 25 millimeters, so that's what about uh, one millimeter or one inch. The, uh, but uh, that's what we're dealing with, and uh, I'll shoot this over to you, and we'll get it figured out.